Hello once again everybody, fellow Titanic fans. I hope you're doing well today. Um, it's been a while since I did a Titanic video or a Titanic related item on a video. Um, today I want to show you something that's pretty cool, it's unique. It's Ravel and it's a typical Titanic snap type easy click model kit. But there's a difference with this one. What I want to show you today I thought would be cool is yes, there's the um, the typical easy click system Titanic but this one is different in the fact that it's got a diorama with it and I thought that was pretty cool it's actually got a little you can see the background it's got the iceberg the ocean and a nice little base because we've all seen the easy click system Titanic and they're fam fairly common but this one this one really isn't all that common because I haven't seen it that often. So, let's take a look at it. This was released in 2020. This is product number 05599 and 3D puzzle. And it shows you a nice illustration of what it'll look like when it's finished. And let's see, there's a little bit of information on here. Simple model kit of the arg of arguably most famous ship of the world. Everyone knows the tragic story of the ship colliding with an iceberg and its maiden voyage in 1912. This kit contains a diorama in the form of a 3D puzzle from Ravel on which the model of the Titanic can be presented. Simple model kit including decals and stickers. Hull with structured paneling, Decks with wooden plank structure, Revell 3D puzzle diorama, easy to put together. And it got some different languages on the sides of the box. The easy click system, you can see a nice depiction of the finished model. Again, 3D puzzle diorama. Let's see if it's the same on the other side. Nope, it's different. 1600 scale and 156 parts. And let's see, is there anything on the other side? Look at the optional painting guide. And let's see, is that the same? Yeah, these are in different languages. And again, we've got the easy click system, level two. And that's everything on the box. Is there anything on the back? Nope. And you guys that love Ravel, as I do, you know that um, they don't always have the plastic shrink wrap on the box. And they have a little, like, a round piece of tape on each side, keeping it shut. So, all that being said, let's take it over to the desk and I'll show you guys what's inside. All right, so we got it over to the desk. You can see it's got beautiful box art. That lovely ship. No matter what scale, it always it's so beautiful. Well, let's open it up. And like I said, we have those pieces of tape, those round pieces, so let's get this open. So the first thing I notice is we got a bag. And, it, and by the way, this is all pre-colored. You can see. So there's no need to paint this. It's 
So let's get the first bag. And you can see the, uh, the windows, the promenade deck. Very nice. You can see the lifeboats right there. And the other, another set of lifeboats. You can see the windows. Very detailed. And there's no flash in them. Very clean, very crisp. And let's see, this would be the opposite side. You see the detail with the doors. Again, nice and crisp, nice and clean. Ravel usually has nice, crisp, clean trees and parts. You can see the uh, the deck. This seems like it would be pretty easy to light too, guys. If you wanted to light this kit, let's see more of the the windows and more of the pieces. Again, the detail is pretty nice with the uh, the steps. side of the deck. You can just see them sitting there with their chairs or strolling the deck. You can see some of the, the cranes. You can see the, the glass houses that would house the uh, grand staircase the compass tower. We got some more cranes and some more generators. You can see where the smokestacks are going to go. It looks like it could be where the Marconi room could be. So that's very nice. That's everything in that bag. Next thing I notice is we have the uh, the hull, and this is from the waterline to the top of the superstructure. This is the part that's modeled in black. Let me show you guys a nice little cruise by. I hope the camera picks up all of the detail for you. You see the doors, the portholes, going to the end of the ship. Now, if you um, if you guys are going to light this model, you would have to drill out the um, the hull because the the windows are not all the way through. See if you guys can see that. So you would need a micro drill or a pretty small drill. But that's the black section of the hull. Very nice. For the size of the model, very detailed. And let's see, where is the tape on this one? Looks like they got a couple of pieces on of tape on this one. a couple of pieces in this bag. We've got the bottom of the hull or where the water line would be below the water line and we have the uh, where the propellers are going to protrude from and again there it's all painted it's in color 
can see the detail on the bottom of the deck, uh, excuse me, the bottom of the hull. You can see the bilge keels. So let me go ahead and, this is an easy click system guys, so this is gonna go together just like this. And just like that, it's together. This would be a little better way to show you guys. Hopefully the camera picks up the detail. Because there is a lot of detail. There it is. You can see the light reflecting on that. And this will probably take, I'm thinking maybe an hour at most to put together. If you want to get really fussy and glue it and maybe paint the little touch-up areas, probably an hour. Um, if not, it would take probably a lot less than that, maybe half the time to put this model together. Because it's so basic, and like I said, everything's colored. The plastic is colored, and we need for painting. And this looks like the deck. Again, you can see the, the detail, the lines of the deck. And the deck is molded in the color, so there's no need to paint. You can see the deck sections with the lines would probably weather out pretty nice if you want to give it a wash and bring those planks out. That will look nice. And again, you can see the benches on the aft deck, the observation deck, and that's where the rear real deck is going to go. So that's pretty nice. And looks like we have the bow. Again, it's molded in the, uh, the planking. So that, given a, a nice wash, it would come out pretty nice. And you can see the main part. And again, if you want to paint all this, this is 1 600 scale, so it's pretty tiny, but not impossible to paint. This could come out really nice. And what else we got? It looks like you have an option. If you want to build it with the, uh, the included puzzle piece base, you can. It also gives you the option if you want to build it with a, the base that's included, you can use this base as well. You can see the tops of the smokestacks, the ladders. And these are inserts for the smokestacks, so you don't have to paint. The black section will be black. And the kind of orange section will be orange. And this is the base that you can use this base, or you can use the diorama or the puzzle base. So, what else is in there? This is the plastic for the smokestacks. You can see they would click together, and then the black inserts would go inside. That way they, you would have both colors. And you also have the propellers. I'm sure you guys can see those. So the orange tree has the propellers and the bottoms of the smokestacks. And let's see. That's everything. And what we're going into now is the 3D puzzle. And I'll put pictures of the instructions up for you guys to check out. You can see how it goes together. Refer to the photograph on a package and join the pieces by matching the drawings above. After popping out the pieces, you can punch out the interlocking holes with the corners of the foam boards. And the instructions are in other languages as well.
So why don't we go ahead and I'm gonna open this up to show you guys. And I don't wanna damage it. Alright, the first thing I'll show you guys, the instruction sheet. I need to keep that so you guys can see it. That's a better picture of it. There's no glare. This is 05599-9040. And it's the puzzle piece instructions. And there is something on the back. Please pull the small leftover pieces in the garbage. After finishing the assembly, be careful not to let your children eat or put any part of this product or the packaging into their nose or ears. And again, I'll put up pictures that'll give a better illustration. Folding of the iceberg, and then finally, you put the ship in. So that's pretty cool. So the first one, or the first cardboard piece, I don't know if this is going to open or not. It looks like it wants to open it, it does open. And again, I'll take pictures of everything for you guys. You can see that lovely backdrop for that cold April night. You can see these, these are the tabs that are going to hold the picture, the background together. Put them in over there and over there. All right, next, looks like we have the iceberg. got a nice um, plaque for the ship and looks like it's going to be on a, what appears to be the grain like a wooden base you can see folding up and this is the iceberg now again again I'll put up a lot of pictures for you guys because I would want to see Actually, that's what I do in all my videos. I put everything as I would want to see it. And look, you can see both sections or both halves of the base that it's going to rest on. Got a nice wood grain appearance. And Let's see, looks like the ocean. You can see the water line where the Titanic is going to be plowing through at nearly full speed. And all that's left is the back section. And again, just like that, where she was plowing ahead at full speed, unable to avoid the iceberg. And that is the 3D puzzle piece so what I'm going to do now, what's left? Let's see. 
This looks like it could be information. I wonder if the decals are in here. Because then sometimes, oops. All right, so you can see the decals. And they're not water slide, they actually look like stickers. You can see RMS Titanic, the British flag, the white star pennant, the American flag, and Titanic of Liverpool for the back, for the stern, and Titanic for the bows, and there's some other stickers that appear. I can't quite see what make out what they are. But it does have a decal sheet, and that was inside of this. And this is the safety and precautions. And looks like we have more. There was another sheet. So we have a nicer, a nice sheet. Let's see, this looks like, this one could be water slide. And you've got the pinstriping, and you've got the British flag, and you've got the white star pennant, the American flag, and you have the, the stripes, but just below the superstructure. And is that it for the instructions for the decal sheet? Yes, and all that's left are the instructions like I said, I will put up pictures of all the instructions for you guys, just so you can see if you're curious about this kit, plan to purchase it. If you want to purchase it, you should get on the ball with this because you don't see this one very often. The regular um, Easy Click system, 1-600 scale, you see it's fairly common. But this one with the 3D puzzle piece of the, uh, the iceberg, that one is not really all that common. You can see the required or recommended tools. And we've got the optional painting guide. You can see the colors. And let's see, it looks like we have a parts list. You can see the black section, the hull, the red section, and the decks. And then we go to the superstructure trees. And we've got the, uh, the trees for the base, the optional base, if you want to use that. And then we have the, the smokestack, the propellers, and we have the bottom where the propellers are going to come out. And let's see. We move on to step one. So you can see if you're going to paint, they show you the colors and the pieces to put in. And if you're going to use that base, this looks like a really, really straightforward, relatively easy model to put together. Even if you want to detail it, this is a pretty, seems to be pretty easy and straightforward. Again, it's got all of the, the paint guide letters moving on to step seven you see all of the, uh, the vents eight more of the walls and part nine the superstructure the deck comes together in the beginning of where the superstructure is going to be in the aft end of the ship one thing about Ravel they've always got absolutely beautiful instructions and their models are high quality. You can see where they're going to put in the section of the bow. You can see where the, the front of the ship, where the cranes are going to go. That's not, uh, let's see, yeah, the cranes aren't going in just yet. Still got more vents. And let's see, yep, more vents, different parts. There, the cranes are going to go in. 
And you can see the formation of, the, of what would be, uh, what, the boat deck, a B deck. Up to step 19 and 20. And again, the instructions, everything is simple and everything goes together so well. You know, who knows? As with any um, snap-in-place kit, I always prefer to glue it just to, for more permanent, you know? It doesn't hurt. The glue, uh, it doesn't really take that much more time to glue it into place. And then you know that it's going to be together for a while. Nothing's going to, uh, it's not going to, you're not going to go pick it up and the thing's going to fall apart or things are going to fall off of it. Step 27. 28 is the compass tower or the compass platform. You got more of the uh, the vents, 19, 29 and 30. And you can see 31, 32. You see the Marconi uh, line and lifeboats, and you can see that's going to be painted. You can see the different uh, letter markers. Lifeboats are going in with more vents. And we get to this formation of the smokestacks. You can see the black sections snap together and then the orange sections snap around it. That way, there you do not need to paint if you don't want to. For all four smokestacks, you can see the smokestacks going into place. Step 40, 41, we've got the, uh, the masts and the rat lines, and you can see the deck, uh, excuse me, the, um, the crane that's going to go on that iconic bow. And 43, looks like the rear mast of the That's going on with the rat lines. And 44, you can see the placement of the flagpole on the aft end of the ship, back at the stern. And you can see the uh, where the propellers are going to go. And if you want to paint them, you can see the color code. And what's this on the last page? This is the decal placement and total paint guide. Very nice. And step 46 on the back shows you more of the color codes. The painting guide and a decal placement at the far end of the ship. And that's everything in the instructions. And again, the instructions are usually they're always high quality. It's like a book. The pictures are nice and clear and in color. And is that everything? That's everything in this uh, model kit. And like I said, the, the Titanic model itself, it's a, it's a high quality model. If you're looking for a weekend project or maybe for one of your kids, if you want to get something that's going to go together pretty quick and relatively Easy, um, the 1600 Easy Click System RMS Titanic is awesome. If you want to go that extra mile, then you can actually get the 3D puzzle diorama. And you can actually get cardboard pieces. And you think cardboard, you think that it's not going to be that durable, but this is pretty thick. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is, but it's uh, it's built to be together for a while. It's not going to come apart or like when you put the weight of the ship on it, it's not going to like cave in or crumple. This is pretty sturdy cardboard, and this is actually a really good idea. Um, this base is awesome. I love the ocean, and I love the backdrop. Um, I think it's really nice. A nice 
um, bittersweet as uh, that was her last moment really under her full steam just before she hit the iceberg on her starboard side but my friends this was the RMS Titanic and not just the easy click system 1 600 scale but this one actually had the diorama the 3d puzzle diorama that you could put together and again this one is not as common as just the regular 1 600 scale titanic model kit is so if you guys were curious about this model what was in it what it looked like what it came with and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and until my next Titanic-related video, I'll talk to you guys really soon. And as usual, I thank you for watching.